Y'all saw that I had the, the jig underneath it and I had a piece of metal tying up to um, the actual truck, little little angle pieces. Uh, so pretty much that's all I did. I just kind of repeated the process and this is what I got so far. Um, <clears throat> so I just got each piece on there. Um, I tacked them in temporarily on all four corners. Uh, those were the, for the front. And I tacked them all in. I had to jack the bus up really, really high again to get um, it to come out. And I got it over here and um i just i just just did a lot better welding onto them i just tacked them in place but when i got out of here i fully welded every little corner whatever um i went to the store today and i got me some uh they call them welding plates these like a five by eight welding plates right here um what i did and i built them because i wanted some uh gussets so what i did i got the old plasma cutter out and i uh i pretty much just cut them in half uh at an angle so what i ended up with uh is with the is with these so what i did i am um, i just cut the square in half and then i cut this little corner off right here and the reason i did that because sometimes there's weld right here so when um i put them in like that it um i don't have to worry about the weld um so my theory is is i'm going to either i have these triangles i may have to build more uh, but i should be able to put them in like this and uh, it'll gusset this thing out like that and that'll give it a lot more support um i will definitely sleep a little better at night so i guess that's the only thing that really really matters so i'm gonna go ahead and um weld all those in where i think they should go and then i'm going to try to fix the, the actual tilt portion i had a theory where i was actually going to get the the tilt side uh these right here when they went on here they went on like this something like that right well i was actually going to think of i was thinking about putting a um like a pull on here where i could actually just slide them in here i was just going to cut it all straight and then slide it in there and then wherever it went in just drill a hole and put a bolt in there um but come to find out they don't make metal that actually will slide inside this metal so i was like crap that ruined that plan because what I was going to do is going to build each side the same. I started off a little different because the wheels are off because that piece of metal comes down. But anyways, I was going to make it on both sides so you can get this piece of metal and you can flip it on this side. You can flip it on this side. That way you could tilt the whole thing to whichever side you wanted. Well, that ain't going to work. So what I want to end up doing is <clears throat> I got these little guys. Um, I got like eight of these or six of these, whatever. They got four perfect drilled holes in it. And what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> this side already has a 45, that side doesn't, so I'm probably gonna have to take that wheel off, cock it over the, the, this way a little bit more, and put a 45 on it. I'm gonna make sure it's the same. From center to center, I wanna make the tip to tip the actual, uh, the absolute same. And then I'm gonna get this, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna weld it like this, and make, that, make sure that's absolutely perfect, whatever. And then I'm going to weld one on here, so then all I could do is once I put on here, I'll just get four bolts. I can bolt it to it and it will keep this on there. And then I could do the same thing on that side. That's my plan right now. Um, we'll see if it actually what actually happens. But right now I'm going to, um, I'm going to weld up those gussets that I made. Uh, try, try to give it all the strength I can and we'll go from there. So let's get it started.
Now you can see that is solid. It may not look the prettiest, but I'm telling you that that is solid. It's this got some support this way, but this is going to brace. It's going to brace it really, really good this way. <clears throat> and then I did this one. This one. It's one of the things if I rebuilt this jig, I would actually get this pole and move it over to here. Um, over here like this, but it didn't work out that way. You know, but I knew I was gonna do this gusset thing, so it worked out. Uh, so I just put it right here, which supports the actual overall frame. Uh, but then it gave this thing a support to lay on, so I welded this all up. Um, it's solid in there. I did that on both sides. So that is pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Um, what I gotta do now, I gotta get more plates. And I gotta do, s I don't know where I'm gonna put them over here. <clears throat> uh, because the problem is over here, when I bolt it in, there is not a lot of room to, um, to play on there. So that bolt goes right here, that goes right here. When I'm up over here, that boat goes right here. I think it goes there. There's just not a lot of room on the side, so I have to be really, really careful how I'm going to do that one. So, I don't know. We'll see. I got to come up with something. I want to definitely put some kind of support. It already has a pretty good amount this way because of this l so going this way is pretty really good i want something to prevent it from going that way so i really want to put um a triangle from here down that'll give me a lot of um support that way so i just got to figure out i gotta make sure i can put a plate there and i need to play with it and make sure i can actually still put it underneath there because that thing is right there so I'll have to play with that but let me cut up some more of these uh plates more triangles because the worst case worst I'm gonna put it I want to put a triangle here I'm gonna put a triangle there so I mean that's worst case scenario so uh let's do that anyway so plasma cutter is very uh pretty easy it's kind of like the weather you gotta have you uh a ground so I'm going to ground it right there and then the biggest thing on the uh, the plasma cutter is you'll see when I'm going through it, um, you want the sparks to fly out down below. If they're flying out this way or flying back up, you're cutting too fast. Uh, I'm sure I'll mess up here and there and everything else, but uh, I try to. My trick is I get the, uh, the cord back here and I sit here with my fingers and I pull it with this finger right here and it, it gives me a nice constant um, uh, pull drag I can go across there um, some people can do it you know pretty pretty easily but but you can see how that, that plasma cutter and it's always good just to kind of you know do, do a test a test run you can see how good that sucker just goes across there so uh, As I cut them in half, I got the square, cut them in half, I'm gonna put them in here and I'm just gonna clean the edges up <clears throat> and then uh
This is gonna be a really good close up. This is over here. I welded that up, and then um, over here, it has to smooth in here, so I couldn't really uh, penetrate. So I had to put the uh, square on the back side. So I added that gusket right there. Gusket, gusset. So right there, and that will give it uh, just a natural um, curve of this. Will give it a lot of support this way, and this will give it a lot of support going when it goes that way. Um, and then this will do kind of uh, this way back and forth um, And then that just actually gives it more uh, strength to the frame. I got another one up right there And then I did the same thing over here Got it knocked up over here And then and over here I did a lot more um, I added that one right here And then I came over here and I added this one right here um, And then I did the same thing on this side and then same on this side. So what I'm gonna do now is I gotta figure out <clears throat> these angles. Uh, I'm probably gonna call it the, I don't know how much more I'm gonna do tonight, but um, I need to figure out how to get these side pieces on there. And I'd really like to have it where you could put the side pieces on either side. So in essence, what I could do, I could tilt the entire truck to the left, or I can tilt the entire truck to the right. Um, but I don't know. <clears throat> I may just make them with one side because uh, it's already made for that. So I'd have to deviate from my whole plan and all that. So let's we'll go from there. All right, guys. What I'm doing here is um, I got these plates. Um, uh, this is a 45 degree angle. Uh, I cleaned it up just a little bit just to try to make it the best 45 I could. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I got both these plates and I kind of just made uh, made them the same. So when I do this side and the other side, it should be close. So what I got to do is I'm going to get this plate, get like here, and then weld it. And then the other piece is going to do the actual tilt portion. I'm going to get this on here. I'm going to bolt it together, get the other uh, the pole, slide it in, and then weld it all together. And that way these will match perfectly. Um, so at least, at least that's the plan. But uh, let's see how this goes. three hands for this but I got two today but what I'm having to do is I need to have it down enough for it on here but I can't hit that wheel take two and unfortunately I should have moved that wheel like Half an inch that way, but oh well. Yeah, it's hot. So somehow I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get all this on there.
But unfortunately what I gotta do is once this thing's up, I gotta level it this way and I have to level it this way. So that's where the fun begins right there. So I'm gonna have to just probably what I'm gonna do is get it one way, attacking it, just just in place a little bit, and then manipulate it a little bit, and then I'll attack it again. Um, we'll see what happens, I guess. this way <clears throat> look at that shoot not too bad that bubble is about as close as I could ever get it <clears throat> well there's that right here um, <clears throat> it's, it was really really hard to get this exact 45 I cut it once but I had to shape it up um, so it lost a little bit of things so I know that this pole is going to go in which i really don't honestly think it's actually going to be that big of a deal because i have to custom make from here to the um the uh, the rain gutter on the bus so even if it is a little bit um i think i'm just gonna have to roll with my punches and um just deal with it really i, I don't i don't know anything else to do but uh that's cool, I'm glad, I'm glad I got that. That is cool. I am gonna have to shave a little bit right here, this wheel. I wanted this close on the ground, so when it, it when it when you try to tilt it, it catches this corner right here, and then it wants, it, it wants to catch, and then allow the whole thing to tip over. But I got a little close to this wheel, which is fine. I'll just take this off, and I'll get my grinder, and just kind of grind that little uh, edge off so it doesn't mess with that wheel. But I'm gonna definitely have to take that thing off. Um, take the plate off and I got to weld that sucker really really good and I got to weld underneath here because you got to realize the entire weight of the entire vehicle at one point is going to be resting on this plate uh, for the most part um, 
it'll be sharing the load between the four anchor points but uh, I just want to make sure I got them plates on very good and then um, I even thought about and I, I probably going to do it uh, there ain't no thinking I'm going to make a gusket or a gusset that goes right here too um, I just get one of these plates and get on there you know make it however I want I'll uh, draw it out and then um, I'll um, I'll just do that so then I'll give it a little more support <clears throat> so I, I just want this thing as strong as I possibly can get it um, the last thing I wanted to do is fail when I, especially when I'm tilting it over I, I, I'm pretty confident this isn't going to go anywhere uh, when it's flat but when when stuff starts going on its side everything starts shifting uh, you know the stress moves over here so uh, I just want to be super cautious on that all right well what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that one I'm going to get the other one the, uh, the other one over here on the ground and I'm going to make both of those I'm going to weld them up fully I might test it over there for, uh, for a split second fully weld them up and then I'm going to start making them gussets that work I get this piece and I can gusset that out like that and that's going to strengthen that um, up quite a bit so the only thing to do now is to um, I'm probably gonna take that little corner out there a little corner because it's hitting the that's easy to do I just grind it down a little bit so I'm gonna get me another plate uh, the other plate that I cut right here and I'm just going to replicate what I just did so, times two, here we go. All right, so I got all this welded up, right here, right here, and then I put uh, two cross beams, one right here and then one right there. Um, I did that so when I unbolt it from each side, like from there and here, when I unbolt it, this will be a, uh, a solid piece, kind of like the, the, the floor portion is, but this will be another piece. So what I'm gonna do is, um, now that it's all fastened together, I'm going to unbolt it because I still need to, um, I only did little welds here, so I need to take it off and then I'm going to uh, fully weld it all up, all the plates and everything else, do real good welds on it, real thick welds on it, um, just to give me a little more strength in them. Um, but uh, let's get the thing off and let's do that.
All right, well, I got the uh, the tilt dolly. It's all, um, the paint is all nice and dry and stuff like that. And one last thing I wanted to do today was to get it actually bolted up to the truck and put it back on the dolly and get off these jack stands. Uh, the jack stands are fine, but I just feel a whole lot better if it was on this dolly, lower to the ground. And then um, once I get on the tilt dolly, then I can actually go on the inside. I'll start ripping out stuff and doors. It's just, I don't want to be jumping in and out of the truck right now. I want to step on jack stands like that. So um, that, that's the next step I need to do. So I'm going to, it shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm, uh, I'm out here just, just trying to get a little bit more done for the rest of the day. But uh, let's see what we can do. I got it. I pray the bottom one goes in. Got him on. Uh -huh. God, I don't know why this thing is being such a. Jacks off of it, and it's on. There we go. Completely on my jig. A tilt dolly. I call it jig tilt dolly. It's whatever name I can kind of make up sometimes. That's it. Man. First push. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me uh, push it all that way. Get these.
Whew. It is humid today. All right, guys, that's it. I do appreciate it. Man, it, it, it seemed like a, a, a long road, but it's a, it's a, it's a short victory on, on this truck. Um, I, I never would have thought of, you know, what, two, three, maybe four days ago, there was two pieces of square thing on the, uh, on the floor. And now I actually have this full jig for my truck. Um, it's, it flows really, really nice. So I was a little worried about the wheels at first, but I mean, now I see it rolling around. It, it's super smooth compared to the, uh, the wheel dollies. This sucker just glides. Um, it's pretty light. It's going to get a little bit lighter. I got to take uh, that door off, this door off. There is a little bit of weight on the back of this from uh, heavy sheets of like uh, for my shelving back there. Uh, it's going to get a little lighter, not much. Um, but now I get to go in there and tear everything. I want to tear. I want to tear all electrical out. Anything that moves, anything. I want to take out the whole dash, the tray. Anything I get, I gotta take the uh, the um, the inlet box. Fresh air comes in right here and hits it here, and there's an air distribution box. And I'll actually show you guys. Uh, just to, it goes in here. So what happens in a Volkswagen when there's a glass right here? So when you go down the road, the glass uh, air goes up the windshield and it hits in here, and it's got a screen in there, so you know you're not gonna get like a bird or something fly up in there. And it comes out in this little box, and this little box diverts air either at the side like uh, at the side right here there's a there's a, a, a lever on the side you can either turn it off completely like if it's cold you don't want the fresh air coming in so you can kind of block the cold air out or you can open up and you and you can um you can flow it now in a truck it's it flows only out the sides uh, i was wrong my bus my bus actually has a uh, a lever right here and this is a little bit longer and what you could do, you can divert it out the sides, so it'll go out the it'll hit the driver and the passengers on the head, or you can divert it and it goes out the back. This one does not have vents in the back, but in my bus, it actually go out the back because but there's a lot more cargo space on my bus, so uh, maybe that's why they designed it a little different. Um, but no, that's it. But uh, I do appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me today. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot done today, it seems like, because uh, I guess the last couple of days I've just been just going, going, going. Uh, I was, I was kind of tired today, actually, um, but uh, I figured it was going to be a quick, little, easy, you know, 15-minute thing, but here I am sweated up again. Um, no, I guess that's it. Um, if you can, please uh, like and subscribe to uh, help a little channel out like me and uh, be on the update because uh, there's, there's more updates coming. I'm, I'm working almost every day right now, so... Uh, some people wait and you know do a, a video a week i'm going to do as much as i can uh, i may put out a video every other week or every other day um, but just know that some some days or whatever i'm not going to be able to do that you know um, right now i'm i'm able to get a lot of little work done so a lot of videos are going to come out but um it may actually slow down a little bit and i may get down to you know once a week or maybe once every two weeks it really just depends i really need to get my metal list uh, picked out and flick at to kind of keep stuff flowing in and keep it going um, but uh, until next time guys uh, if you never start it it'll never get finished